वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश फोर्टी सेवन सो स्टेटमेंट इज द बीम इज मेड फ्रॉम फोर बोर्ड्स नेल टुगेदर एज शोन इफ द नेल्स कैन ईच सपोर्ट अ शेयर ऑफ हंड्रेड पाउंड्स डिटरमाइन देयर रिक्वायर्ड स्पेसिंग एज डैश एंड एस इफ बीम इज सब्जेक्टेड टू शेयर ऑफ सेवन हंड्रेड पाउंड्स सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बीम दैट इज मेड ऑफ फोर बोर्ड्स वन टू थ्री एंड फोर दैट आर नेल टुगेदर एट this point which is having space s and on the top d that is having space as dash and this is subjected to a share of 700 pound so you have to find this spacing as dash and s so let's start with the solution so for that this problem we will use this formula shear flow is equal to horizontal shear force per unit length and this is also equal to v into q divided by i so we will find this q and i q and i because we have v so first we will find i which is section property so for finding i we will need its centroid clear and since this beam is not symmetrical about horizontal so we'll find this centroid centroid of this section centroid of section which is equal to y dash and this y dash is equal to sum of y dash into a divided by sum of area so we have four boards so we will take this as one and this board and these boards are same so it is 2 and this one is third so according to that we the this formula will be like y1 dash into a1 plus y2 dash into a2 multiply by 2 because these are 2 plus y3 dash into a3 divided by area sum of area a1 plus 2 times of a2 plus a3 so we will now find this y dash so y dash is equal to a1 so a1 is this area this area is a1 so its length is 10 inch and thickness is 1 inch so a1 is 10 into 1 and what is y1 dash so y1 dash is distance from the, we will take this top as a reference line clear so y1 dash is distance from top till the mid of the first section so this one will be y1 dash which is equal to 1 divided by 2 and that is 0.5 inch so i will multiply by 0.5 plus area a2 a2 is this area its width is 1 inch and total height is 2 plus 1 which is 3 inch so a2 is 1 multiply by 3 into y2 dash so y2 dash is distance from top till the mid of this sec second section this is your from this point till this point this is your y2 dash and this is uh 2 half is 1 so 1 plus 1 is uh sorry uh, 2 plus 1 is 3 so 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 and this will be multiply with 2 because we have two sections of 2 plus a3 a3 is this area this area is a3 so its width is 1.5 and height is 10 inch so 1.5 multiply by 10 inch and what is uh, y3 dash so y3 dash distance from top till the mid of the third section this is your y3 dash and this y3 dash is 10 divided by 2 is 5 plus this one thickness this will be equal to 6 divide by sum of area so a1 is 10 into 1 plus 2 times 3 into 
plus a3 is 10 into 1.5 so when you calculate it you will get y dash is 3.3548 inch it means that from top the neutral axis passing or its centroid will be at a distance of 3. Point. This is the top. So this distance is y dash and this is 3.3548 inch. And this is again, this is its neutral axis. Now we will find its moment of inertia i about neutral axis which can be obtained by using parallel axis theorem i dash plus a d square clear so it will be for first one this will be equal to 1 over 12 this is the first one its breadth is 10 inch and height is 1 inch so 1 over 12 10 into 1 cube plus area which is 10 into 1 and what is d square so d square is distance from neutral axis till the mid of first section this distance this is your d1 and this can be obtained if you subtract uh, this y1 dash from this y dash you will get d1 so d1 is 3.3548 minus 0 0.5 square this is for the first one plus second second element is this one its height is 3 and width is 1 clear so i will write 2 times 1 over 12 breadth is 1 inch and height is uh, uh, 3 inch so 1 over 12 bh cube plus area which is equal to 1 into 3 clear into d square so d square what is for d square for this so distance from neutral axis till the mid, mid of second section this is your d for the second section which is d2 and this can be obtained if you subtract this y2 dash from y dash so y dash is 3.3548 minus y2 dash is again that is 1.5 whole square plus we, i will close the bracket square bracket because there is two outside plus third element third element is this one so its height is 10 and breadth is 1.5 so moment of inertia for this is 1 over 12 breadth which is 1.5 and height is 10 plus area which is 1.5 into 10 multiply by d square so distance from neutral axis till the mid of third section so this is your d3 and this can be obtained if you subtract y dash from y3 dash y3 dash is 6 and y dash is 3.3548 so 6 minus 3.3548 three five four eight whole square now when you calculate each term so you will get the moment of inertia about neutral axis comes out to be 337.43 inch power 4 so this is your neutral uh, moment of inertia you can see that these nails at side c c is this one having space s and for d it is having space s dash so we'll find qc and qd for that which is first moment of inertia so first we will find qc so qc is equal to y dash y1 dash into a dash so what we will do is that you can see this nail is in this portion it is given c so this cross section will be 3 into this cross section will be 3 into 1 and its distance from uh, neutral axis till the mid of this section which is equal to uh, 1.8548 i will write it 
by one dash uh, i will first write a dash which is three into one and y1 dash is distant from neutral axis till the mid of which is again y2 dash and y2 dash is uh, 3.3548 minus 1.5 and it will give you 1.8548 so when you calculate it you will get qc will be equal to 5.5645 inch power 3 now we'll find q d for this portion for this upper portion d i will show you for this upper portion d so you can see you will get this area clear this is your area so qd qd is equal to y2 dash or you can say you can also write y dash into a dash so a dash is 10 into 1 sorry for this uh, d you will get this you when you find q for this upper surface so you will get this whole area q you will calculate q for this whole clear and how you will find it so first we will take this 10 into 1 area 10 into 1 and its distance from neutral axis till mid from neutral axis till the mid of first section which can be which is 3.35 minus 0 0.5 so 3.3548 minus 0 0.5 clear plus two times now th this portion so two times of this area so this area is 3 into 1 multiply by distance from neutral axis till the mid the till the mid of second section which is 3.35 minus y2 dash so 3.35 3.3548 minus y2 dash which is 1.5 inch so when you calculate it you will get QD is equal to 39.6774 inch power 3. Now the question is very easy. We will use shear flow, shear flow. So shear flow for QC is equal to given that horizontal shear force is 100 pounds because if, if the nail can support a shear force of 100 pounds so f uh, for c the space is s so i will write fh over s so fh is 100 divided by s and for d QD shear flow at D is equal to FH over S dash, which is S dash. So 100 divided by S dash. So what we will do is that QC is, QC is 100 divided by S, 100 divided by S, which is equal to V into QC divided by I. So you can just put the value V is given as 700 QC is given as uh, is calculated as 5.5645 divided by I which is 337.43 is equal to 100 divided by S. So from here you can easily calculate S is equal to um, 100 multiply by 337.43 divided by 700 multiply by 5.5645 so you will get s will be equal to 8.66 inch so this is the nail spacing alongside c and for qd we know that qd is 100 divided by s dash which is equal to v into qd divided by i so v is again 700 
QD is 39.6774 divided by I is 337.43. So we need S dash. So S dash will be equal to 100 multiplied by 337.43 divided by 700 multiplied by 39.6774. So you will get as dash is 1.21 inch. And that is the answer of our this question. So S is this spacing, this spacing is 8.66 inch. And this spacing as dash is 1.21 inch as per given shear force of 700 pound. And this was all about problem 7-47. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.